Good morning guys. We are officially done with Capitol Reef. Yesterday was really cool. Able to see Ben and I Hill, went to see the Moonscape Overlook. Today we're gonna actually be heading towards Moab and uh, do some dispersed camping. Fruta Campground, man, this is the first time we've seen it this beautiful when it comes to the colors and then uh, the trees and able to get finally uh, some dessert with their well-known pies over here so it's nice to be able to spend some time camping here and explore this area but we are heading towards Moab but we're gonna check a few areas out before we're actually gonna be officially in Moab and then uh, obviously we're gonna do some trails out there and find some dispersed camping out there hopefully hopefully it's not too crowded it is Memorial Day weekend so it's gonna be busy but it is what it is and uh, yeah I'll take you guys along and uh, explore some trail again let's do it guys Alright guys, we found a campground. This is a BOM campground, but it's uh, nice and flat. We thought about doing dispersed camping on some of the trail, but with this weekend and how many people we saw, all the good area that I pinned most likely is taken. So we figured we'd stop by here. This is a horse deep campground right outside of Canyonland National Park. And we kind of looked out actually. There's a few spots available big enough for the both of us. So 20 bucks a night. We're gonna set up right now and then go go do a couple off-roading trail nearby. But at least we have campground campsite established. This is nice. Better help my wife before she gets mad. It's so weird, it's so hot now. Looks like we're getting rain on a little bit. Still is a beautiful, beautiful campground to stay at. We're gonna go right now to uh, check out Shaver Trail and uh, yeah, just explore the area. All right, guys, we are heading out to do Shaver Trail near Canyonland National Park. It uh, actually connects you to White Rim as well. We almost did White Rim, but uh, we didn't have 4x4 last time and the ranger said you have to have 4x4. But Shaver Trail has been one of those trails that's on our mind, pinned on map, but every time we get here, it's neither too hot or we just run out of time doing other trails. So today, we're going to get the chance to do that. And uh, yeah, check how, how how this trail is. Right now, weather's good. A little windy, but yeah, it's good overall. Yeah, it's gonna be hard not stopping and taking photos. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. Def we're gonna go all the way down there, I think. Man, it's gorgeous right now. All right, so this started the Swiss back. I think it's definitely wide enough for letting people to go through, but uh, yeah, as you can see there, definitely need to make room for people. But you can see all the way down. That's what we'll be doing.
This is the Potash Road all the way to Moab if you want to. But this is where we are. Can't believe we were all the way up there. Crazy. All right, I think we're officially out of the national park boundaries. Now it's just all public land. So this will lead you to the Potash Road and I think it's about 32 or 35 miles all the way up to Moab. Uh, all the way that way if you guys wanna go that far into it. But I think we're just gonna try and go as much as we can to. There's not getting a little late and then we'll turn around, but this is beautiful guys. I feel like this is one of my favorite so far in southern Utah just because how diverse of uh, the trail is and how beautiful it is. The trail is super easy, it's still in two wheel drive, but it's definitely beautiful. You guys get here, definitely just take your time, enjoy the trail. It's gorgeous right now. This is where we're at. Look what we're overlooking. Sorry, a little windy. But that's the Green River down there. You see people rafting. That's so cool. Ah oh man, can't get any better. But check out the drone footage guys. Definitely highly recommend just stopping and just enjoying the view here. So we gotta try and hit the Potash Mine, I believe, or Potash Wash Mine. It's a really colorful mine that you see from the Dead Horse State Park. So we have maybe another five miles to then. And uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of condition it will be. But so far, nothing complicated about this trail at all. But definitely highly, highly recommend it. It's beautiful. So up there is the Dead Horse State Park. A little observation area and all last time a few times we've been up there we really want to go down to this trail and now we got a chance to actually be inside this trail that's pretty cool that's where we're at So this is the potash wash area pool. It doesn't look all that good when you're like up close and personal with it. But on top, the color looks pretty cool when uh, you fly the drone, but looking down, much better. Looking right at it, eh, nothing too interesting. Man, but the view is beautiful though. LaSalle Mound right now, still snow.
So this is the Thelma and Louise lookout point. You guys ever seen that movie? I believe this is the point where they jumped the car off the cliff. Could be wrong. But uh, on the map it said this is the lookout point. So I'm assuming they jump it off here somewhere. It's interesting. Oh yeah, it's, oh that's a white rim trail. Oh no. Way. Yeah. But yep. I gotta look at the movie again. But still man, what a view. Check out this view. It is gorgeous. It's almost like golden hour right now, huh? Yep. It's starting to be. That's so cool. The drop. Yeah. Straight down. Alright guys, that's officially done with Schaefer Trail. Very, very beautiful trail. I think we did almost over 50 miles easily. So the trail itself, according to the map, is about 32 miles from Capo, no, Canyonland National Park all the way to Moab, 32 miles to the freeway. But we end at that one wash area, uh, that pool. So that one must have been like, what, 27 miles or so? Because I know it's on the map. We're like a couple of miles away from the freeway. So definitely highly recommend it. It's very beautiful uh, down at that trail. Super easy, not hard at all. The only time we engage 4x4 when we go up those uh, swiss back. But honestly, I don't think we, you actually need it. So if you guys uh, do this trail, highly, highly recommend uh, just stopping and taking your time enjoying it. I think it took us about like four hours to finish everything. So we got one more area to look at and before we head to camp just to uh, kind of check out the National Park a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh. 
guys uh, that's it for today's adventure that was really cool to check out that uh viewpoint in canyonland national park so i highly recommend you guys do the Schaefer trail uh just might as well check out that area it's really pretty especially during sunset we're gonna head back to camp cook up some leftover ramen no shabu shabu yeah shabu shabu night again so yeah if you guys like this uh review consider subscribing to the channel if you guys don't mind hitting that like button real quick I would really appreciate it and get this video out to more people but definitely Schaefer Trail not hard at all but definitely definitely beautiful I would say it's gonna be one of my favorite trail in southern Utah just because it's just that beautiful so I don't know contending for Valley of the Gods and that but I think Schaefer Trail with all the uh, beautiful view going over the river I think it's definitely yeah I think it's number one in my book at the moment all right, guys. Well, hope you guys uh, like that video. Tomorrow we're gonna head into Moab. From there, hit up uh, I believe it's Chicken Corner and a couple other trails we had in mind. So, yeah, follow along with us on uh, this channel, and I'll show you guys how that trail is. Ready? <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.